drop it down and have fun with it, okay? I got the fitting stuff that I need. These are gone. This is cleaned up. Just need to hammer down, bro. And, and yeah, so heavy green right there. Green it, and then we're gonna put nice, nice two coats of 2K on this. All right, and then uh, I'll worry about centering that handle in there later. Okay. Um, anything about this here? Just yeah, clean it. Uh, it's already cleaned up. Just make sure it's really prepped, and then green it, and then gray it. setting up for epoxy prime on the hood, on the inside. Yeah, something. All right, everyone. Lee 
is going to 2K this. We got the epoxy prime down. We're going to go wet on wet. We already have an hour cycle on this to gas it off. We got two nice good coats on here. Going to do two nice coats of 2K primer. And then we're going to start a bodywork process. What we're doing now is preliminary work on all the parts and pieces. Because when Eleanor comes in after the 57 leaves, we're going to get, we're going to get jiggy. Yeah, you look great. Way better than me. You got way more hair than I do. All right, let her rip, bro. That's one thing I hate about painting uh, or priming inside parts and painting inside parts. It, it blows back on you on the curves. Real bad. Yeah. Stunning, isn't it? Wonderful, wonderful. All right, when you're done cleaning the gun, uh, we'll uh, go look at your work, sir. Ain't much to look at. I'm just filling in some voids or trying to. Which yeah. Old. What I try to do is just puddle it here and here where you see where the, most of the, the dents were. Flooded it up in here again to the point where it's starting to come on down and sag. Um, I think you're going to have a good start with it. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, I'd rather use this and uh, slap the old Bondo to it. Yeah, no Bondo needed. We're going to be able to get away from this one. Now, some of the parts on Eleanor do have a little bit here and there for the skim out on the fender wells and stuff, but there's nothing you can do, man, when you're dealing with 60-plus-year-olds. <laughs> well, a 60-plus-year-old car, but also a car that uh, is 17 other cars put together. I mean, yeah. you know, you got to take in uh, and look for what it is. They, uh... You bit an awful lot to chew on on that one. Yeah, we'll do it. Because that is, that's a wild, wild setup. I'm so yeah. Sure you got that one line in. That, that still kills me. The one I didn't get is by the windshield frame. The windshield frame still sits canted on the one corner. And in order to fix that, I got a fiberglass it. There's no fix for that other than actually pulling that pillar, and it ain't going to happen. So I got to make it aesthetically correct. But this is nothing but a primer out. This is going to be pretty good. And then I, I cut down those for the, the hood latch. Right. And now that they're gone, it's all cleaned up. Now we'll put the correct holes in with the... Correct hood latch, but is, my main thing right now is I got to get it nice. Well, the thing is too, and that you don't want a hood that weighs, you know, hundred yes. extra pounds on it either. Yes. These things already have a tendency to walk and wobble and everything like that. Kind of like a fifty-eight up. Plymouth hood, huh? Doesn't that like jar your memory? A little bit, yeah. There was a shop, dude. There was a shop that did a hood for on Billy's car, and we couldn't lift it off the car. It almost wanted to close on its own. Oh, yeah. It weighed, like, what, 20 pounds more than it should have, and it overpowered the hinges? Well, that was the same car. You couldn't close the doors on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, we pulled 130 pounds of Bondo off of that.
got a bad hair day going on here. We're not body men, we're sculptors. Yeah. So some of these guys. Um, but yeah, like Billy's car, that was just nuts. Yeah. But, uh, no, like I said, I'd rather go this route than uh, slap the bondo to it, watch the bondo come around and, uh, and swell and shrink and all that. Yeah. Um, I'm actually surprised how nice this looks now. And that's not too bad. Not too bad. I had a 69 Beetle, didn't look nothing like this. 52 it, cans of Rustonium <laughs> later! You, you know, the, the Eleanor is a hand built car by Glenn, and it's a lot of parts, pieces from everything and everywhere, and we're trying to corral it all up now. We're getting ready. We're getting the preliminary stuff done. We wanted to show you quick footage of what we were doing with the hood today, um, and we're following Glenn's guidance and everything. So. Now, when the car comes in after that girl gets painted, that's the first. That's one thing holding Eleanor up right now. Is like, gotta get this paint job done, get that done now, and then it's game on. Then we're gonna wheel her in and knock her down. So, all right, very good, very good, very good, very good. He needs a drink. He's dehydrated. Worked his tail off today. That explains what happened, dude. Yeah, and I'm a mess today, so. It was only like 100 degrees in here today. <laughs> what was the humidity, 80%? <laughs> it was, uh, well, we had 100% uh, rain. Yeah, oh, it, it won't stop raining right now. Of course, because we're getting ready to paint a car, we need to get the humidity down, and we can't because it wants to rain when I want to paint. And i got to say, every time I drive my truck and I say to myself, raining, i really got to get a new windshield wiper motor for that truck. Yeah, dude. I've been saying that for two years. But so what are you doing? You're just doing that uh, F11 stuff? No, I drive really fast between drops <laughs> and keep my fingers crossed. Uh, so, I don't know what you did as far as the uh, GTO, but I noticed that the uh, the rear end's in. And yeah, that's all that's done. Yeah, we, nice. we missed you the past couple videos. And uh, having Lee every Wednesday is an awesome thing to have here in the shop. He was able to play catch up for us on a lot of little things that we need. Most and entertainment. Entertainment value is off the charts. I, I hurt myself a lot and he really gets a kick out of it. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's Lee. See ya. All right.